Which AI scripting tool is the best for Roblox development? I'm going to be pitting ChatGPT against the Find AI and against the Roblox scripting assistant to figure out which one is the best for you. I have a total of five scripting challenges to give to each AI. The first challenge will be very simple and the next will be more difficult and the next will be the most difficult. The last two challenges will gauge how well the AI can solve problems in code. I will be given a very simple code example that has an easy error to fix. And then the last challenge will have a slightly more difficult error to fix. If an AI successfully finishes the challenge on their first try, they'll get five points. Each AI has an additional chance to fix any problems in the code they generate if it doesn't work the first try. If the AI fixes the code and it works on the second try, then it'll get four points. If the AI is unable to generate any working code for the challenge, that AI gets zero points. If the code the AI generates produces a result that is not what we want or what we would expect, then it will get one point. And I will also dock any additional points based on the number of deprecated features the AI uses in its code. So if the code the AI gives me works, but it's filled to the brim with deprecated features, the AI will only get one point, which is the minimum. So I'll be subtracting one point for every single deprecated feature the AI uses. Our first contender is ChatGPT, and our first challenge is this. Please write a Roblox Luyu script that makes a part kill a player when the player touches it. The part should turn red when touched to signify danger to other players. So let's see what ChatGPT generates for us. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this code and see if ChatGPT successfully generated the correct code. So I'll create a new script inside of my hurt part and let's go ahead and paste in ChatGPT's code. Let's go ahead and touch our part and see if it kills us. And there we go, the part kills us and the part also turned red to notify other players that this is a dangerous part that shouldn't be touched. Five points to ChatGPT. Our next contestant is going to be the Find AI. So let's ask it the exact same question and see what it generates. All right, it generated our code. Let's go ahead and copy that code. Let's head back to studio and back inside of our script. Let's go ahead and replace ChatGPT's code with find AI's code. So we'll paste that in there and let's go ahead and see what happens. Let's go and touch our part and perfect. The part kills us and it turns red. So another five points goes to find AI. Next up is the assistant. So let's go ahead and tell it to do the exact same thing. But since I have this part collected, I'm going to reword it slightly to tell the assistant to generate a script directly inside of this part. So I've told the assistant to please write a script that makes the selected part kill a player. When the player touches it, the part should turn red when touched to signify danger to other players. So let's go ahead and see what it generates. All right, it created kill player script. Here's a script that makes the selected part kill a player when touched and turns red to signify danger. And it looks like the assistant generated a script inside of it. So let's see how well it did. And let's go ahead and test this out. If we touch our part, let's see what happens. Perfect, it kills us and the part turned red as well. Another five points goes to the Roblox assistant. Back to ChatGPT, our next challenge is this. Please write a Roblox Luiu script that transforms its parent part into a moving platform. The platform should move horizontally back and forth five studs every five seconds. So let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT generates. All right, let's go ahead and copy this code. And let's add a script into my platform part. Let's go ahead and paste the code inside of there. And let's go ahead and see what happens. And unfortunately, as we run the game, we ran into an error. Tween position is not a valid member of part. So let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT messed up on. I'm not sure why ChatGPT decided to do that. It's using the tween position function, which isn't a function that exists with a part. It should be using the tween service and not this random function that it pulled out of its butt. So let's go ahead and tell ChatGPT to fix this problem and let's see if it can generate us some working code. So I'll tell ChatGPT, I'm sorry ChatGPT, but the code you provided does not work and I am given the error. And then let's go ahead and paste our error in there. I apologize for the confusion. It seems I used an outdated method for tweening the position of the part. What do you mean outdated? It was never a method in the first place. Here's an updated script using the tween service module. Okay, let's go ahead and see if, well, 
chat GPT got this correct. Let's go ahead and copy that code and let's try it again. Back in studio, let's go ahead and replace this code and then we'll go and run our game. Oh, look at that. Our platform is moving back and forth horizontally, I believe. Yeah, that looks like five studs and each time it's moving back and forth for five seconds. Very, very cool. Now, unfortunately, it does appear that ChatGPT is using the deprecated wait function because technically the task library is superior to the older functions like delay and spawn. Instead, you should be using the task library for the delay function, the spawn function or the wait function. So unfortunately, because ChatGPT is using the older wait function, I'm going to have to subtract it by one point. So ChatGPT loses one point because the first code did not generate successfully and another point because ChatGPT used an older function. So three points to ChatGPT. Okay, back to find AI. Let's go ahead and ask it the exact same question and let's see what code it generates. Very interesting. Find AI went with a different approach and instead is using the run service instead of the tween service to move our part. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and copy this code and see how well it did. Let's get rid of ChatGPT's old code and paste in the new code. And let's go ahead and run the game and see what happens. And our, <laughs> our part has flown away off into the distance. And my console is being spammed with a whole bunch of errors. Okay, that is a problem. Initial position is not a valid member of part workspace.platform part. This is not looking good for these AI. They can't even make a simple platform to move back and forth. Oh my goodness. Sorry, but the code you gave me above does not work correctly. I am receiving an error in the console. Boom. And let's go ahead and see if it fixes it. Apologies for the confusion. The error indicates that the initial position is not a built-in property of a part object. Instead, we should define our own variable to store the initial position of the part. Here is the corrected script. Okay, let's go ahead and see if this works. Let's copy this. Let's get rid of the old code and place in the new code. And let's go ahead and see if it works. All right. Um, well, it is moving, but it is moving extraordinarily slowly. This is not the movement of five seconds that I wanted. Oh, and it is jittering all over the place. Oh, and, and it's not even moving correctly anymore. Sorry, find AI. It looks like, um, looks like you're only getting one point. Let's go ahead and see if the Roblox assistant can do better than chat GPT or find. So let's go ahead and ask it. Please write a script that transforms the selected part into a moving platform. Let's go ahead and see what the assistant generates. All right, perfect. It has attached the script moving platform script. So let's go ahead and see how well it did. And well, I, I mean, technically it's a platform that is moving back and forth, but it's not exactly what we would expect. We would expect a nice slow moving platform back and forth. Perhaps I was a little bit too vague. So let's go ahead and give the assistant one more chance. Let's ask it to instead smoothly move the part back and forth using either the tween service, the run service, whatever it generates. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, I told the assistant the part does move back and forth five studs, but could you instead have it move smoothly back and forth five studs every five seconds instead of teleporting the part. So let's go ahead and see what it generates. Okay, the assistant gave me the updated code. You can use the tween service to smoothly move the part back and forth. Here's an example script to achieve that. So let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go back to our original script, get rid of that old code and place in the new code. And let's go ahead and see what happens. So we'll run the game. Okay, our part moves. Awesome. And it moves back to the other position. Very cool. And well, seems like it's working. So nice job to the assistant. I will only dock the assistant one point. Just got to make sure that there is no other deprecated features being used. And it doesn't look like it. So great job to the Roblox assistant. Roblox assistant gets four points. Back to chat GPT. This is going to be the most difficult scripting challenge. I said, 
please write a Roblox Lulu script that allows the player to fly when they press E on their keyboard. If the player presses E again, make sure to stop flying. So let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT generates. Let's go ahead and copy this code and see if it works. I will create a new script inside of starter character scripts. And let's go ahead and paste this code inside of there. And let's go ahead and play test the game. If I press E on my keyboard, well, <laughs> nothing happens because all the AI did was just change a property in the humanoid, I believe, and I'm not able to fly around. If I press E again, yeah, this is not what we would expect at all. We're not even flying. We're just flopping to the ground. This is not what we want. So let's go ahead and go back to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to fix this problem. All right, I said, sorry, but the code you gave me does not allow my player to fly. Instead, my player falls to the ground and I am unable to move. Please fix this. Let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT does. I already know that this code is not going to work, but let's just copy it anyways. We'll replace the old code, put in the new code, and well, I already know it's not gonna work. <laughs> But let's go ahead and see what happens anyway. So if I press E, the exact same thing happens. Great job, ChatGPT. Great job. So while ChatGPT did generate code that works, because the code does not produce the results we expect, ChatGPT only gets one point for this round. Maybe find AI can do better. So let's go ahead and ask it the same question. And... <laughs> Find is doing the exact same thing that ChatGPT is doing. It's literally just changing the platform stand property for our player. So, I mean, I'm going to copy the code, but I know it's not going to work. So let's just paste the code in there and let's go ahead and see what happens. We'll hit play and let's go ahead and hit E. And of course, we just fall to the ground. It's not producing the result we'd expect. So I'm going to tell Find AI, sorry, but the code you gave me does not make my player fly. Instead, my player just falls over and I cannot move. Please fix this. And it literally just gave me the exact same code. It didn't it it didn't do anything. And actually, what's the point of this fly speed variable? It's not even used anywhere in the code. So unfortunately, while the code does work, find AI did the exact same thing as ChatGPT, so find AI only gets 1 point. Okay, maybe Roblox Scripting Assistant can save the day. So I'm going to tell it to generate the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and see what code it gives to us. Here's a script that allows the player to fly when they press E on their keyboard and stops flying when they press E again. Let's copy that and let's paste it inside of our local script. And wow, this code literally does nothing. Add code to start flying here. Assistant, you were supposed to do that for me. I'll tell the assistant, can you please generate the code for allowing the player to fly? I'm not sure how to do that. Let's go ahead and see what code it generates. Okay, it looks like it generated the exact same code by setting platform stand to true and making the humanoid sit. Let's go ahead and play test the game. And if I press E on my keyboard, nothing's going to happen because the assistant, for some reason, decided to set the fly key to the space key even though I told the Roblox scripting assistant I wanted it to be the E key. But if we press the space bar, nothing is happening. And even if I spam space bar, I'm not flying, it's just messing around with my humanoid. So it looks like the scripting assistant also gets only one point. Well, it seems like these AI aren't that good at generating code, but let's see if they're good at solving problems in code, because that could be very useful. So let's go ahead and give them their first code example, and this first code example is going to be really easy. If the AI can't solve this problem, then I have no hope in these AI at all. So all I'm going to tell ChatGPT is, hi, can you please fix this Lua code below? It is giving me an error. I'm going to be as vague as possible and see if ChatGPT can fix it. This should be a very simple fix, because it should know that you can't divide by zero. So let's see what happens. Okay, it says certainly the error you're encountering is likely due to dividing by zero, which is not allowed in mathematics. To fix this, you can add a check to ensure that the number is not zero before performing the division. Here's the fixed code. So let's go ahead and copy this code and then let's paste it and run it in the command line and see if we get the correct result. 
There we go. Error cannot divide by zero. So great job to ChatGPT. ChatGPT gets five points. All right, let's go ahead and see what find AI generates. We're going to ask it the exact same question. All right, let's copy this code and see if it works. We'll paste it inside of the command line and hit enter. And there we go. Cannot divide by zero. So great job to find AI. Find AI gets five points. Now with the Roblox assistant, I have my erroring code inside of a script. So I'm going to highlight this code and then I'm going to ask the assistant to fix the highlighted code. So I'm telling it, can you please help me fix this highlighted code? It is giving me an error. Okay, that's a very strange answer. Let's go ahead and try it again. All right, sorry about that. My internet is now back. So let's go ahead and ask it the same question. Let's see if it can generate. Surely I will do that. Ooh, it's giving me a nice explanation here. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and see the corrected code, please. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this code. Let's paste it inside of the console or the command line and let's hit enter. There we go, cannot divide by zero. So great job to the Roblox scripting assistant, five points. All right, the competition all comes down to this. This last piece of code I'm going to give to the AI is a function that calculates the average of a set of numbers. Now the issue here is that the code does work, but it's giving me an output that I do not expect. And that's because for some reason right here, I am adding the current index to the sum instead of the number that is inside of my numbers table. So let's go ahead and see if the AI can fix this and figure out our logical error. Okay, once more, I'm going to be as vague as possible. I'm saying, hi, the Lua code below is giving me a logical error. Can you fix this? So let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT generates. Well, it looks like ChatGPT picked on it pretty quickly. So let's copy this code and see if it works. Let's paste the code into the command line and we'll hit enter. And there we go. The average is 30. Five points goes to ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and ask the exact same thing to the find AI. The logical error in your Lua code is that you are adding the loop counter I to the sum instead of the elements in the numbers array. So it looks like it fixed it. Let's go ahead and copy this and let's see what the average is. We run the code in the command line and the average is 30. Great job to the find AI, five points. And we're going to be asking the assistant, hi, the highlighted code is giving me a logical error. Can you fix this? and I've pasted the code inside of this local script. Let's go ahead and hit enter, giving me a code explanation, which is not really what I care about right now. I just want the code to be fixed. Okay, here is the corrected code. So let's go ahead and copy it. And then let's go ahead and paste it inside of the console. And let's run the code. And there we go, the average is 30. So the assistant did good as well. Five points goes to the Roblox assistant. All right, and our totals are 19 points for ChatGPT, 17 points for the Find AI, and 20 points to the Roblox Assistant. What's the conclusion? Well, the conclusion is that these AI aren't that good at coding. If you want them to perform simple tasks, they can do that just fine. But once you start asking it to do more complicated tasks, I think that's where these AI really fail. So I could definitely recommend to use these to help you try to find errors in your code or ask them questions about certain API things. But just know that these AI will likely use deprecated features sometimes. And also the answers that these AI give may not be correct to the Roblox API. So just keep that in mind. Will these replace actual programmers in Roblox Studio? Absolutely not. These AI are nowhere near the level of human thought, creativity, and problem solving yet. That could change maybe five years in the future, but as it stands currently, these AI are just mediocre at best. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.